Man, yes, sir. What is good, my guys? Welcome back to a brand new NBA 2K21 next gen. You know, let's not forget we on the next gen. My career. This is like what? Episode number four. We just got drafted by the Chicago Bulls on the previous episode. Which, if you guys missed, be sure to check it out. Now, I'm gonna show you what my overall looks like. We are sitting at an 87 overall. And here is what the starting rotation looks like for now. Now, here's the thing. A lot of trades, free agency moves have gone down since we got drafted to the Chicago Bulls. So if you guys want, like I could restart this my career, put us back on the Bulls and have the most updated rosters. Now I have like all the rookies in there right now. But for example, last night, John Wall and Russell Westbrook got traded. So that is not in my my career right now. And if you guys want that, I can make it happen. I'm also gonna be playing on 12 minute quarters on Hall of Fame difficulty. Here is what my accessories look like. We are on the Chicago Bulls, like I said. We are getting ready to make our debut. This is gonna be game number one against the LA Lakers. If you guys are ready, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. Junior, you're early, I like that. Hi, I'm Jesse Campbell. I'm the director of media relations. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know you're getting ready, and I promise I'll just be a minute of your time. Uh, yeah, yeah, what's up? So you get a clear view of how this whole thing works. I'm going to be the one to tell you where to go and when in terms of the media requests. So let's say you have a great game, and the TV crew, they want to talk to you. I'll come find you and escort you over. But when I say I need you now, I really do need you now. <laughs> if I say the interview is over, it's over. I'm the one who keeps the ship moving, and uh, ultimately, I protect you from overscheduling. That makes sense? You got it. Follow your lead. That's right. Okay. Hey, you have a great game, and I'll be seeing you. All right, thanks. I still can't believe they drafted the bootleg version of me when they already got the real deal. <laughs> bootleg version of you? Come on, God. <laughs> you know you the bootleg version of me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not one word has ever been written about Hendrix Cobb being a copy of anything. Ah, uh, for real? Yeah. You're worried. About what? Me running your spot. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't taking my spot. Okay. Okay, okay, that's fine. But look, just don't take it personal when I snatch that boy right from up under you because it's gonna happen. If you somehow outplay me, Junior, I promise you, I will roll out the red carpet. You got my word. <laughs> All right. I'll remember that. Yo, yo. How great is this, man? You and me, same team? We're gonna roll this lead together. <laughs> yo, man. It's crazy, right? It's the way it was always meant to be. I'm running some tape. I'll see you at shoot around. All right. It's game day, baby. Woo! Hey, yo, this is my first time running out of an NBA tunnel on next gen. Hold up. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, this looks crispy clean. I mean, look how the floor is shining. The crowd is hype. Hey, I have a question. I have a question. When are we going to see a crowd next? When are we going to see a real crowd at an NBA game? I'm getting concerned. I'm getting worried. I'm trying to attend the game next year, and I hope the earth is going to be back to normal. All right, I'm done warming up. It is time to officially make our NBA debut. We're going to be riding the bench. I think we're supposed to be getting like 15 minutes a game, so we'll see what happens. Oh boy, here we go, the official tip-off. We're gonna be getting the first possession, man. Let's go, Chicago. Did I like watch and see what goes down? Or should we just sim to our next appearance? Ooh, Zach Levine. Ah, he missed. Yeah, I'm just gonna sim. Here we go, I'm gonna speed up the process. Oh man, we're getting smoked right now. Six to two, okay, six to four. 
Let's speed up the process and let's see when we are getting checked into the game and it's actually gonna be at the five minute mark. Okay, here we go. We are finally checked into the game up by two points. Anthony Davis with a nice little turnaround right there. All right, let me get the ball. Okay. Ooh, step back. No way. Did I just shoot that? Oh, and I made it. Here we go. Coming down the other way. The Lakers now have the lead. It's 19-16. to 16. I'm trying to show off my handles right here. As I get past Rondo, I'm going to find Taddeus Young. Moments later, coach pulled me out of the game. I had three points, one assist. Let's see when we're going to get checked back in. All right, let's go ahead, sim it, and we're going to check back in at the six-minute mark. Down by 11, now 13 points. And you guys see Contavious. Man, these are hard names. Contavious Caldwell-Pope drains a three. That was a poor defensive possession on my end. I don't know what I was thinking. But I'm going to attack the cost. Listen, your boy is just a little nervous out here, okay? It's my first game, so I'm going to be making a lot of defensive mistakes. Playing a Hall of Fame right now might not be a good idea. The Lakers just came out here and, like, flipped the switch in the second quarter. They killed us, bro. Like, we have to go back to the locker room and reset, even though I just hit that green light. The first half was a struggle. We're going to close things out with 11 points, one assist, one rebound. Listen, the way I played in the first half, coach might just keep me on the bench for the rest of the season. We're down by 15 right here. As I simmed it to my next appearance, all of a sudden we're down by 30? Hey, yo. And guess what? Now I got LeBron James on me. LeBron James. A couple moments later, I went back to the bench. Bro, it's a 40-point game. Now, look at their scoring leaders, and then look at ours on the left side. This was not my fault. This was not all my fault. Our entire team just got barbecued in my NBA debut. Probably not how you'd hoped your first minutes would go. Yeah, no. Any positives, though, that you could take from tonight? Uh, well, the, uh... The more I play with these guys, the more we develop chemistry. You know, so um, this is a step forward. You looking forward to getting back out there, Junior? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, it's not my best game, but tomorrow's another day. And I'm, uh, I promise I'm going to make the most of it. First game in the books. How's it feel? I got to be honest. I would like it better if I played more. Fuck me. It's only one game, Junior. It's way too early. You sure about that? You need to talk to the front office. Make them fill me in on their long-term plan. Maybe that would help. I have been assured by management they want you here for the long haul. Right, and you believe me? I do, for now. Bottom line is, you will have your shot. Until then, you just... Keep my head down and work, I know. What happens if I do all that? Do all the right things and I'm still waiting for the bitch? Then I will express our feelings to management. But I promise you, it's not going to come to that. Look, roadblocks can be opportunities. You have to see the long game. The front office is watching everything you do on and off the court. This is your chance to show them that, that you're team first. I hear you are. Okay. You get some rest. Tomorrow is another day. Thanks. Listen, this is disgusting to look at. In my first game, I had 13 points. I got to do better. I got to put the team on my back. In our second game, we're playing Charlotte Hornets. Obviously, they have LaMelo Ball on their team. Let's see what they did in their first game. First, I want to see what my teammates did. Now, as you guys see, Zach Levine only had three points in the first game. We need him to step up. We need a lot of our teammates to step up. As far as Lonzo Ball, this man, look at his stats in his first game. 
Hold up, he actually did really well. He had 15 points, five rebounds, and 10 assists in 33 minutes. See, I need minutes like that. Game number two is officially here. Now, before I jump into this, I wanna hit up the practice facility because right now, coach is looking at me funny. They might be looking at me like I'm an NBA bust. I'm not gonna let that happen. So I came in here, I put in work, and now I feel kind of prepared for game number two. Here we go, fellas. Game number two, the outcome has to be different. I mean, we were playing the NBA defending champs. That doesn't count. I'm getting subbed in at the one minute mark. The score is 20 to 18. Charlotte is up by two points and I do not see LaMelo ball out there, but look at how much space they're giving me. Stop sleeping on your boy. We gonna make him pay for it. Listen, it might be time for your boy to take over this game. I've had enough. Snatching LaMelo Ball's ankles. We're gonna pull up for this mid-range green release. All I ask for is more playing time. That's it. Okay, I see a teammate cutting in. Oh, come on. Look at this. Wide open Zach Levine. Now he misses. What is going on? Lori marketing, he misses. I'm not gonna lie, fellas. I'm starting to question playing on Hall of Fame right now because my teammates did not want to help me out today. Look at this wide open man, and he gonna miss it. That is why I couldn't rack up any assists in this game. I tried. Listen, the potential is there, all right? Like, my player could do it all. You've seen them. But right now, all I'm asking is for some help and some more playing time as I take it to the cup with another athletic dunk. 68 to 75 is crazy. We're losing our second game of our season here. What is that shot? I'm not trying to lose back-to-back -back games. As we push up the court, look at this. Kobe, come on, Kobe! Looks like I gotta do everything on my own. Throw it up. Listen, man, I came out here and fought for my life. The score is 78-75, I'm going to the bench. I feel like I did my job there. We are down by like more than 10. I brought us back and now I sat back and watched my team lose. It's one thing to lose, but it's another thing to lose riding the bench. Game number two has officially come to an end. I did a much better job this game. My teammate grade was better. And just to prove that I was playing on Hall of Fame, you guys see the 1.6 difficulty multiplier. You know, I wouldn't lie to you guys. Game number three is against John ja Morant and the Grizzlies. They are also 0-2. That is going to be an interesting game for sure. On the next episode, our goal is to try to be the starter of this team and get the Chicago Bulls their first win. Here's some like league leaders. After like one or two games, you guys see Perzingis is averaging 46 points. This might actually be after one game. There's no way he's averaging 46 and two. And then I see Derrick Rose on the list. Look at his stats after one game. There you guys have it. Episode number four has come to an end. I hope you guys enjoy this. We'll continue my NBA journey on the next episode. I'm out.